going to show you our trainer kit, a digital logic trainer kit, TTL based order code is 33510. So here we can see there are two blocks of variable DC power supply that is 18 volt at 1 ampere. This is third, the third block is fixed DC power supply 5 volt at 1 ampere. This is clock generator block with the help of this block we can give square wave up to 10 kilohertz frequency with the help of this knob with the help of this knob we, uh, we can give it in 10 steps we can see this is 1 hertz and, and 100 hertz and 10 kilohertz this is main switch to turn on of the kit this block contains logic inputs 16 logic inputs to give 1 or 0 to the input circuit this is the output indicator shows the status of the circuit this is inbuilt voltmeter range is 0 to 20 volt this here is the breadboard with the help of this we can perform different types of experiment this is the 7 segment display to show the result this is user manual user manual and patch cost are included with this kit our next experiment is 4 line to 16 line decoder or demultiplexer so this is the circuit diagram that we are going to build and for this we will need a IC74154 so this is the IC74154 so now first we will connect ground to pin number 12 and power supply to pin number 24 now we will give the output from pin number 2 to pin number 17 So connect like this, connect the output from pin number 1 to pin number 17 like this. So I have connected the outputs from pin number 1 to 17, now we will connect pin number 18 to input this is G1 and pin number 19 to G2 so this is our G1 and G2 now we will connect the input that is A, B, C, D so connect it so this is I am taking this as A So this is pin number 20 and this is input D, this is pin number 21 and this is input C. This is pin number 22 and this is input B and this is pin number 23. this is input A so this is my G1 and G2 and this is my A, B, C, D input and these are my output so now we are going to verify this truth table here so first turn on the key and keep all the inputs in low level so we can see all the inputs are in high state except for input sorry except for output 0 now I am keeping 
g1 g2 in low level and i am giving a high now we can see that this is the result now i am giving b high and keeping rest of them at low level and this is the output result now i am giving both high and this is the output result now i am giving h high sorry now i am giving input c high and this is the result like this you can check the rest of the truth table so when i give this two input g1 and g2 uh, one that is high level and rest of this the rest of the status of the rest of the input doesn't matter all the outputs will be in high level experiment is decade counter for this we are using ic7490 so for this we are going to build this connection this is the pin configuration of ic7490 and this is the connection given here this is the connection here we have used four flip flops so first we need to give output from a to pin number 12 b to pin number 9 c to pin number 8 and d to pin number 11 now we need to connect pin number 1 externally with the output QA Now we will give clock frequency to pin number 14 and we will connect pin number 2 to r0 that is reset to 0 and pin number 6 to r0 that is reset to 9 now we will give power supply to pin number 5 and ground connection to pin number 10 now we will check so we can see here yeah, this is decade counter it is counting from 0 to 9 that is why it is named decade counter so if we want to reset it from 9 so press this switch this is rg reset to 9 and it will be reset to 9 and if we want to press it reset to 0 this is 0 as you can see keep this at both low level and this will start counting from 0 to 9 
Our next experiment is expandable dual to y2 input and dot invert gate. Uh, for this we will need IC 7450 or 4085 here I am using 4085. So, first we will give power supply to pin number 14. And we will give ground connection to pin number 7. Now, we will give input A to pin number 1. Input B to pin number 2. input C to pin number 12 and input D to pin number 13 and we will observe the output from pin number 3. And we will give input x to pin number 10. Now turn on the kit and we will verify this truth table here. Now turn on the kit. When inhibit that is x is 0 and all the inputs are 0, output is 1. Now I am giving output 1, out, I am sorry input 1 here. I am giving A1, the output is still 1. Now I am giving B1, output is still 1. Now I am giving AB both 1, 